One quick question on college project. Who decides the college project? Very good. Uh, that's pretty much what this is. This is the way to get you, at least in my opinion, to get your administrator administration involved. The president, will, I mean, I'm not saying that you can't come up with suggestions. I would say please do. The president would love to hear it, but the final say so is with the president. Yeah, uh, that's it. The word count is 1,200 words. That's it. Yeah, it's, it's going to be one of the biggest problems you're going to face is, I know it's my chapter faces it every year, is trying to get, condense it down to only 1,200 words. Mm -hmm. I thought it was Huh? No. No, 1,200. You thought wrong. Oh my gosh. All right, on College Project, they only award 25 of those <coughs> total. <laughs> if you notice in the region, how many of you were able to go to the regional convention last year? Regional. 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 Did I go? All right. If you yeah. noticed last year, they only had two people given an award for College Project last year. We had two. That was it. All right. At international convention, how many of the Texas chapters were on the stage for College Project? Zero. Zero. We're changing that this year. Yeah. I would like all 25 of them to be from Texas. Yeah. Please. Yeah. All right, so hopefully we'll give you some tips and tricks of what we didn't quite do last year on those awards. Um, they have given us some information. Now we're gonna have two different PowerPoint presentations for this one, all right? We're gonna use this one and then we're gonna flip over to the one from headquarters as well. Uh, we have both and they've actually approved this one too, so it's all good to go. Uh, the one thing we will do when we email these to you, we will actually send you both of them as well, so that you'll have both of them. All right, so such, such few, few words, very tiny words, little bitty. If this one's hard, very hard, because there's a lot you want to put into it, but you can. Now, of course, oh yeah, you know, briefly describe your college project and from who the chapter in the college administration was involved in determining it. Determining it. What do you think that means? Save your words there. Be brief. Make that brief so you'll have more words later. Be specific as possible, yes. Yeah, but also keep in mind you want to show that you've had. Do you think you just need one meeting with the college administration? That's it? No. No. And this is where this is going to get a problem because you want to show that you had multiple reoccurring meetings with your college administrations because that, the one impression Candace and I have gotten, because Texas has not done so good in this era, we, Candace and I, I know, and specifically Dr. Merrill, also have been sitting in on the college project done by headquarters because we were trying to find out where we did wrong because we could have sworn we followed everything and then some. And the biggest impression I kept getting from conversations, multiple conversations I had, was they wanted to see more meeting with the administration. Right. Does meeting with the administration mean face-to-face, or can it just be email communication? Any kind of Anything Anything communication. Anything communication. But what you really need to do is tell how many meetings you had, whether it was face-to-face, -face, email, phone call, whatever. Specific. They want numbers. Right. They really want numbers. And on any kind of meeting you had, and when we talk about administration, it's not just the college president. Some of you, your college president says, okay, no, I'm not meeting with you, you're meeting with this person. And so it's this team as opposed to her or him and that team, all right? It's the same, it's the whole idea that you're working with the administration. And when Somebody you say at the college. briefly describe your college project, it truly means briefly describe college project. If your project was a C2C event, how many of your, your colleges did commit to complete for your college project? Put your hand down, no you didn't. Well, no, 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 for college project. Y'all didn't do for college project. Yeah, C2C events as a college project, and headquarters has told us this over and over and over, they don't stand out anymore. They just don't. So unless you have something so outside of the box on a college project that's a C2C, you got to find a better way to do it. All right. Now, one thing you can do, because as you all know, the International said that about C to C, but we all know that the college administration loves C to C because that's where college finances are going. It's going to basically a enrollment, eventually switch it over to a slowly an enrollment period to basically college completion. 
So you know, and this is where I kind of look at headquarters going, really? Really? Because you know, but what you can do, and what's worked for us is, sorry, <laughs> is include CDC in your project. It doesn't have to be the project itself, but you can include it. If that's if, if, if the, if, with the college. When you're talking about briefly describe, if your project is a commit to complete, do you really need to go in tons and tons and tons of details? No, but you need to make sure that we understand how it stands out that's different, okay? But again, this section should be very short. And I did talk, when I was talking to Jennifer Stanford about this not too long ago, she said titles are beautiful. All right, so if you're meeting with the college president, the vice president of this, the vice president of student services, the student life director, they like those things. Now, what I did ask, because many of you meet with like an entire department, they said to put that four staff members from this department. You know, the, the president of, and their member, their team of 12, you know, whatever it is. She said that we know that there's not enough words for some of you to list every single person and they understand that. So if you can condense it, that's great, but they do like to see the titles. So it can be staff members and faculty that will put it Sure. The yeah, the kind of the generic. Admins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you bet. But they love titles. They really do like titles in this one. All right, summarize your objectives and the process. Summarizing your objectives is not summarize the project. Summarize the objective. What is the what is another word for objective? Goals. Summarize your goals. Okay, your goals for the project. And the process, your chapter in college administration set these objectives. We're gonna add a component to this that we found headquarters suggested that, that we do better on for this part. Alright? A lot of chapters kind of dance around the idea of their college mission statement here, but they never really say, here's our goals and how it relates to our college mission statement. The chapters that were up on that stage this last year said that in some form or fashion. How it related specifically to the mission of the college. That is not the only criteria that they're looking for, but that is a component that they're looking for. And a lot of the Texas chapters, reason why we were not on that stage is because most of them didn't have that. Now, Tyler, North Lake, some of the chapters that were in that top 25 that were up on that stage, they mentioned that this was somehow related, but they didn't specifically say how. And we did take a look back, we're like, oh, we edited those, we know that that talked about the mission statement. Once we really went back in there, it never actually said what their mission statement was and how it relates. So that's one of the things they told us to improve upon. Describe the planning process and strategy, uh, strategy developed to complete the project. Again, I'm not asking you what the project is. I'm asking you about strategies and planning process. Planning process also includes all those meetings. It also includes who you're meeting with, why you're meeting with them, what do they relate to as far as the project is concerned. How does it apply? Quantitative and qualitative. Quantitative numbers, they want the numbers. How many meetings did you have? How many people attended your event? What is the data? If your school wanted you to do a coat drive, all right, how many coats did you collect? How many people were affected? How many members and students were involved in the project? All right, they want the numbers. Qualitative, what did you learn? How did you grow? How did the people you helped grow? What did they learn? Okay. All of that combined. And when we get to the rubric, you'll understand that leadership is a double category. All right, it's double points. So that's where this is going with that. And then what's left or what opportunities remain? Does your project have to be completed by December 31st? No. No, which means when you're writing this, <coughs> you can put in there, we still have all of this to do. This is what we're working on for spring. And here's how it's going to be sustainable. Okay. 
Again, the only, the only part that talked about very, very brief what was the project was at the beginning. Very, very brief. Any questions or comments so far? Okay. Another area that they wanted us to work on. Now, I, I, to be honest, I can't tell you, I cannot teach this to you. I don't know how. All right. Uh, one of the things that they asked us to share with you is they wanted you, somehow in the college project, they want to see more passion for the project, with the project, the results, passion. Again, I can't teach you how to do that. I don't know how to teach you how to do that. Right. But you can definitely bring a lot of the passion in with this one right here. The qualitative section, talking about how it affected you, how you grew, how it really impacted what went on. Right. Again, take it to the writing center because they've got the better words than I can say. It was great. We learned tons of stuff. Yeah, that's about how my mind come out, all right? Take it to the writing center because they can come up with a whole lot fewer words to say what I want to say in about 12 and have one word that means a whole lot more than what I could ever say. They're going to help you with that kind of stuff, but definitely not my vocabulary. Um, but somehow we have to find the passion in this. Um, everybody seemed to do really well in honors and action, not so well explaining that passion and drive for the project, why it was such a need for your campus. Why did your college administration pick that particular project for you guys to do? Now, if you did a C2C project and that's what you're using, that's great. But you may also want to pull on some of that point funding, the success point funding. That whole point funding stuff, that's probably why they did it. It's the state has pulled away 10% of our funding and they can only get it back through the success points. And the success point could be they completed developmental math class and now they're taking college algebra. Another success, uh, success point would be that they've completed 15 hours at your campus. Another one is that they've completed 30. We get double points when they graduate, all right? So we can earn some of that back. So that might be where it's coming from, but that's just data. Where's the passion behind it? What can you do with that money? Why do we need that money back? Okay, so find a way to put that passion in there. Well, this was huge. Yeah, 10 points, participation. Uh, top priority, meet with the administrators. You know, it's a college project. You college president or whoever <laughs> As Candace said, it may not be your president, it may be a vice president, it may be a director, whoever the president says, you'll work with this administrator. You know, you're gonna have to show that. And I think one thing we kind of got hinted at was, one conversation I had was, we didn't show a lot of reoccurring meetings. You know, we had one meeting, that was it. Follow-up. Whereas they wanted to see follow-up. Stop and evaluate and then proceed. Progress, how are you going? What if what you might stumble? What decisions were made? Maybe something happened and you had a change though you wrote that in there, you probably may have I mean, not shown that it was a, we met with the administration and this is what they suggested or what they came up with suggestions. Um, Right? 
but that you have taken the time to think of some things, poll the students, poll the staff, poll the faculty, what do you think we need to do as a college project on this campus? And then take those ideas to your college administration and say, okay, let's sit down and see what ideas we've come up with as a group and see how we can make one of them be the best project we can have. And so that's, talk, that's what we're talking about, this planning and teamwork. And then on the flip side of that, it's really talking about the growth that you've shown in your leadership. All of, that, all of those pieces together, what have you grown, what have you learned? Okay. How have you advanced your leadership skills and those of your members, not just the officer team, it's the entire team. Meaning your members, students that are not members, Anybody who's participating, I know some of your projects include other clubs and organizations with your project. How did they grow? Yeah. We're also getting, we're, we're having help from other universities around the area. Where would we add that in? All of this. But all of the pieces. In what, in, in what specific question? Would it be like how did administration help? Like how? It'd probably be in that collaboration with the administration. Even though they're not necessarily administration, your campus is also a little different in, in that you have the community college program, you know. Um, and so that would also be considered an administration. And then how did you work with those folks in addition to working with the other partners? Anybody else? Okay. This is fun. Did we get Dean on this a couple times? Yes. We always get dinged on this one. Yeah, I was, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kind of off the hip here. I, this is when I was swearing up and down our, after last year that we, I thought we covered because is to keep, to keep showing, let me rephrase that, showing the communication between the administration, between the students, between uh, any other groups that were participating with that were helping you with your college project. Um, issues we have with this particular this particular section when it's talking about the before during and after before yep it's the planning stages all of that kind of stuff after it's when you sit back and reflect what did you learn what all that kind of stuff all right the during is where we kind of lack all right the during one is you started the process stop evaluate are you still on track with the goals that you originally set because a lot of times once you start down one path, you kind of start going off this way and your goals are still over here. And that's okay as long as you, you stop, take time and say, are our goals still realistic? Do they still apply? Do we need to update the goals or do we need to curve what we're doing? All right, and it's the in-between process that we're not showing quite as well as we should. And a lot of chapters that I've seen in their essays they don't show where they've actually stopped and reflected during the project to make sure that you're following through where it needs to go. Right? A lot of times we start on it and then we just chug on forward and then we do the evaluation at the end and you say, okay, well, did we hit the mark? And you're like, well, we kind of did. Well, if you would have stopped sooner, evaluated and say, are we hitting the mark? And you realize, well, not totally, Okay, then either what do we need to add, what do we need to change, and it's how well do you adapt to that flexibility of change, updating, anything that you had to adapt to. Anybody here have problems reserving rooms? Anybody have trouble getting funds? All right, that's challenges. All right, so make sure you put all that in those essays. They're wanting to know. They're not wanting to know the negative part. They're not wanting to know that you had a change in leadership because we got mad at the president, we got mad at Shauna, and we threw her out. So we had to train a new president. We had to train a new president. We had to train a new president, and they took charge and led us forward. They don't want to know that part, all right? What they want to know is, what did you do? How did you reach up to the challenges? What changes did you need to make? And then how did you move forward and grow? But you do have to tell those processes of the before, the during, and the after. And we really have been lack, uh, lacking 
in the jury part. Okay, impact. Um, you know, outcomes exceptional. You know, this is where you can tell what impact happened. Now, here's the question: If the college project flops, does that mean you don't win anything? Okay. Most thing I've discussed and I've learned is they want to know the process. They really want to see how you grow through this whole process. What you learned, what you took from what you took from what maybe was a failure, and what you do with it. Yeah, and, and a failure doesn't necessarily mean the project wasn't a success. Because if, if it didn't work, how can you change it and make it better for next time? Because that's what it's about. It's about that continuous improvement. And if it wasn't a success, that means it's probably not sustainable at that moment. So how can you change it and make it a sustainable project? Something that's actually going to last over time. How many of you have got college projects that are ongoing even today? We're North Lake. North Lake, Thank you. <laughs> and they go on for years and years and years. Yeah. One of them, just an example, one of them at my college is our community garden. That's, that's one. Three years now? Three, almost four years, four years now. And I'll tell you this, and I'll warn you this now. If you start something at your college that's an ongoing project, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Pope will. <laughs> uh, when you start, uh, start an ongoing project, do you have to keep that project going? Yes. Yes, and the president does make note of that. I've had many conversations online about that. You need to keep it going, but is it your responsibility? No. No, it's about your responsibility and finding someone to take that project on. Delegate. I know we're looking at our green club very closely for the next few years. Eggplant? But. <laughs> <laughs> They have eggplants coming out their ears all the time. Yeah. No, okra. Okra. Okra this right now. Okra good, eggplant bad. Yeah, you want okra? We have okra. Oh. And they always want to know what improvements can you make with the relationship between your club and organization and your college. Now, that is not to say that you had bad communication before. All right? They just want to know what might have been easier, what might have been better. And you know as well as I do, you have a change in administration, mm -hmm. and then you have a whole change in process, right? Does that mean the communication stays the same? No. Oh. Not even close. All right. So there's always some kind of continual change there, and that's what they're wanting to know. How can you continue the, the relations? How can you build them? All right. How can you get more money from them later? When it's time to go to internationals, to go to Disney World and pay... Three hundred dollars for one registration, right? We we want good relations. Didn't work. Didn't work. And that's probably one side note with this project, uh, with the college project, is a very good opportunity to work with your college. Because the reason Kansas pulled me in on this one is because my job at the college is I'm the admin assistant to the vice president of business services, also known as the money lady. Uh, so a lot of students have come up to me and said, you know, we can't get our administration on board. And some think it's because the administration doesn't like them. I do what a lot of other administrations do. My job requires me to go out and meet with other colleges on business matters. And most of the administrations I bump into, they don't, it's not, they don't help fight the capital because they don't like it. They don't help fight the capital because they don't know about it. Well, they don't understand what, what you is do. It? How many of you were at the leadership conference in October? Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Uh, you remember the wonderful program we got? What'd you guys do with it? Mine's on my living room floor. Did you give it to your administration? Did you go sit with your vice presidents and your college president and say, here's what we did, here's what we learned? This is who was here. Some of you may have, but most of you probably went home and it's in a corner somewhere in your room. Or probably going through your yearbook, which is fine, but. I mean, I make copies of mine because at least my boss gets it and the president gets it because they always say, well, well how do you, I mean, do, do we keep you guys busy at those conferences? <laughs> I like it when they say, did you have a nice vacation? Yeah. yeah really? 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 Yeah. Let's just say my boss has stopped saying that since I handed her that, since I continue to handle her the schedule saying, yeah, this is what we did. <laughs> and she's like, oh my God, you had them up at 11? I said, they're still up at 11? Oh, well, they're actually up later, but yes, yeah, they were up more. 
So, I mean, and this is a good opportunity to build that relationship. And that's what this is designed to do, is build the relationship between your chapter and the college administration because I'll be honest with you, to be a successful chapter, you must have a good working relationship with your administration. Is there any questions so far? Is there? We're going to switch to one that we got from headquarters. And we will give you uh, copies of both these presentations. You know, purpose of the college project, not only to win Hallmark Awards, what do you nice. But they're nice. It's one thing, but it's not all of it. What do you think the other one is? Uh, what? Yeah. yeah. It's to build those relationships with your college and serve them. All right. Um, now, to do the project, though, don't you have to start with the end in mind? Which means you need to know the rubrics so that when you're planning a project, you actually have something to write about. All right. Yeah, no, it, they say it's not about winning, and I get that. It is about the, the camaraderie and the collaboration between your organization and the administration. But in the end, you still have to write these awards because your college president likes to be able to say, ha ha, my chapter won this when they go to the, the TC, uh, T -A -C -A -C -C -C. T A C C whatever it is. The one in, in Austin every year, and they, they all try to one-up each other, That's saying, well, we got this. Well, we have this. Uh, I will, it's I'm, great. North Lake is part of the Dallas Community College District, and I will just say, um, yeah, when they meet, when the presidents meet, they are very competitive, because I have to give my president a list of the awards. Yeah. Before they go to these Before events. Before they go to this yeah. Right, right. So, while no, it isn't about winning the awards, it really is truly about that collaboration. In the end, you're still writing these awards. Okay, and the president, the administration loves to see the certificates and Shiny. all that kind of good stuff. Shiny. Right? Here's kind of how it works. When you're starting this project, when you go onto the ptk.org website, um, you have access to this and your advisors all have access to this. You, do, you can type up college project and they give you a whole bunch of options that you can do, some suggestions that you can do. It shows you the rubrics from last year. The advisors have access to uh, the awards from the previous year so that you can kind of look at them ahead of time, things like that. I believe the college pre or the chapter presidents do too. Uh, they usually have, have both of those. Um, but we can pull up that information so that in the spring, when you're getting ready to meet with your administration, you already have some details so that when you're planning some ideas, you can already kind of formulate them around what you need to have. All right. A lot of times I see groups, they'll walk in, and I've been in some of them where they walk in and they say, okay, what do we do? And sometimes their college president will say, oh, well, we need a new garden for this. We need to, to fix this. We need to change this. Okay. And then they leave. <laughs> Is that collaboration? Nope. No. You really need to come in as an equal partner in the choosing of the project, all right? Now, I've also heard some college presidents say, from now until the end of days, this will be your project, all right? The problem, you know, I'll use Trinity Rivers as this one. All right. Their college president last year when we met with her, she said flat out, this will always be your project from now until eternity. Or at least until she's tired. Okay, well, the problem is it's a C2C project. And their campus is very limited on what they can and can't do for their C2C project. So when they went to her this year and the administration, what they did was they said, okay, we're going to do a C2C project. Let's put that on the back burner. Now let's talk about college projects. And they already hit it up knowing that that was what she was going to say, saying, got that covered. Let's talk about something we can collaborate on together instead. And so it, it, they came at it from a very different perspective. So you really need to think about how you can twist that um, to make it for your benefit, because in the, result, the end results, you are writing for these awards. Uh, every one of you in here are five-star chapters, and you wouldn't be here learning how to do this. And I will tell you that if you keep to the college admission, yeah. I've not known a president to turn that down. Uh, my students met with my president, and you know, pretty much Dr. Brown and I follow an old tradition. We do introductions, and then we look at his officers and say, Doc, we're sitting in the back. And the president will not say a word at first. 
she will listen to what the student officers have to say at first. That's just her style. And we kind of told them to focus on the sustainability when you approach her, because our president not only is big behind the C to C4, to C to C4 but she's also very big on sustainability. And that's just not <coughs> environmental. She wants it in the community as well. And so we're, we're basing our project on that. And they presented, she smiled, and she said, go. I'm going to flip through, so if any of you get dizzy quickly, just kind of close your eyes for a second, because we've covered most of this, but there are still a few key points that I really want to cover with this one. Here's the questions, the points, okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. Now, this is how they've spelled everything and done weird fonts and stuff. <coughs> Spelling and grammar must be faultless. Now, I have asked, do they prefer APA or MLA? Doesn't matter. They do not care as long as it's consistent. Now, the only catch with that is the Honors in Action Project, where they do this section of, um, of the references. They give you a very specific format and expect you to follow it to a T. But when it comes to college project, it does not matter MLA format or APA format as long as it is consistent through the entire thing. Sorry. This is kind of how they go through it, it, what it looks like uh, on the main sheets. But go ahead. All right. This is something else that we don't usually push you guys to do. Uh, in honors in action, you keep a what? Journal. A journal. Okay. Do we push keeping journals with college projects? No, yeah. really. Yeah. You should. Some of you do, but we don't really push it. The problem is, what happens when you go back six months later and try to remember something that you did? You don't know dates, times, people, money. Yeah. It, it kind of the, the details get a little fuzzy. So this is where those journals keep coming into into play here. You want to make sure that you have taken notes while you're in your meetings, what you discuss, how you're growing each time, and really discuss that in those meetings so that when you go back to write those sections for those particular questions, you can put this information in there. 